Hey, it's John Rochelle, resident font scientist at Comicraft and Swell Type, and this is tips for lettering comic books in Procreate. Okay, so we've got our text in place, we've got our balloons drawn. It's time to add some tails so we can tell who's saying what. A well-drawn tail should go from the center of the balloon to the character's mouth. From the center of this balloon to the character's mouth, or whatever the source of the sound is. And the tail shouldn't go all the way into their mouth. It only needs to go about halfway from the edge of the balloon to their mouth. So right about here is a good spot for that tail to go to. And for Mercy down here, probably about right there. And the first thing I'm gonna do actually is you erase a little gap along that path for the tail to go to. I'm gonna erase a little gap for Mercy's balloon. Now I get my brush tool and I'm gonna draw the tail. I'll start on the outside edge and draw a curve and then curve it back to the inside. Not a bad looking tail. A good tail should have a consistent increase from thin to thick along the path. And this one does a pretty good job there. Now, if you want a more perfect tail, draw the tail and don't let go, and it'll snap into a perfectly triangular shape. And if you like, you can even get in there with your eraser and just clean up those little edges. So there we got two pretty good looking tails. Let's turn back on our guide layer and see how we did. We got a line from the center of the balloon to the speaker's mouth, and they stop about halfway there, so it looks good. Now the last thing we need to do is fill those balloons with some color. So I'll go back to my balloon layer. I'm gonna change my color to white, and I'm gonna hit the selection tool, click automatic and color fill, and then just click anywhere inside the balloon, and it's filled white. Now, of course, our text is invisible because the balloons are above the text in the layers, but all you need to do is grab your balloon layer, drag it down underneath the text, and you're all set. And then as a final step, if you want to give that tail some curve, get your selection tool and select just the tail. Don't go inside the balloon and hit the actions tool. And we're going to choose warp, advanced mesh, and then just push right in the center of the tail and just pull it whichever direction you want the curve to go. And again, too much of it starts to look unnaturally distorted, but a little bit just gives it more of a natural pen draw appearance there. Next up, we'll do some sound effects. 